Molly, can we talk to you for just a minute? What is it, Daddy? Well, it's about what's wrong with you. You see, your illness is really serious and you'll have to have some very special treatment to make you better. But, surely I've got medicine to make me better. Yes that's true but the thing with your illness is that you'll need a very special kind of medicine to make you better. You see, this condition is making your blood unhealthy, and it requires a very special kind of medicine to make it healthy again. Is that why I've been getting bruises, because my blood is pearly? Yes that is right princess. But don't worry, we will make sure you get this special treatment. Will I have to go to heaven? No, not for a very very long time. Well, I hope I'll get better very very soon, being ill is no fun. No it isn't, but like mommy and daddy said, we will make sure you'll get this special treatment. I understand. Can I go back to playing with my doll now? Yes, of course you can sweetie. Do you think we did the right thing, telling her? She needed to know, it's better to tell her rather than keep it from her, otherwise she won't understand why she's spending a lot of time in hospital. That's true I guess. I still can't get my head round it, that our little girl needs a bone marrow transplant to save her life. What if we can't find a matching donor? We will find one, there's got to be someone out there that's got to be a match. <laughs> Now who on earth could that be? I can't be dealing with any visitors right now. Don't worry, I'll sort this out. Hello, is this the Hingles in residence? Um, yes, um, who are you exactly? My name is Bridget Baker, I currently work for social services. We received a phone call earlier today regarding your daughter Molly. What kind of phone call? Well according to the phone call, they said that your daughter is being abused and they were pretty certain about it. Wait a minute, has this got something to do with her bruises, because this is all a big misunderstanding. So you admit that Molly has been receiving a number of bruises? Well yes, but it's not what you think. What is going on? Hello, you must be Molly's mother, I am Bridget Baker, from Social Services. Social Services? That's right, apparently someone called them on us and told them that Molly is being abused, because of those bruises. What? Who the hell has been saying all this? I'm sorry mom but that is private information. Miss Baker, this has been one big misunderstanding. You see, Molly has recently been diagnosed with Fanconi anemia, that's the reason she's getting bruises. We have her medical records as proof. We will show you them right now. All in good time Mr. Hingleson but right now I would like to speak with Molly. Why do you want to speak with Molly? We just told you the reason for her bruises, what more do you want? It's just a precaution, now, are you going to let me speak with your daughter or are you going to make this more difficult than it has to be? Okay fine, you can speak with Molly, but I still don't see a reason why. Thank you Mr. Hingleson, this shouldn't take long. Who on earth would think we are abusing Molly? I don't know but if this gets bad, I'm going to find out who reported us and tell them they made a big mistake. Some people really need to mind their own business. So tell me Molly, are you happy living at home with mommy and daddy? Yes, they take really good care of me and give me everything I need. They have always been there for me. Okay and has mommy or daddy ever hit you at all? No, they have never hit me and they never will. I see. Just one more question, how did you get those bruises on your arm? Oh these, well mommy and daddy said I have an illness that makes my blood unhealthy and that it makes me bruise easy. I've been to the hospital and they said I'm sick. I see. How long do you think they'll be? I don't know but I hope this is nothing but a misunderstanding. I'm sure Molly will tell that social worker that we have not and never have abused her. A uh hum. -huh. Oh. Mrs. Baker, what is going on? Well, after having a chat with your daughter and what she's been saying, I believe this Fanconi anemia business is nothing but a cover-up. What? Why would we make something like that up? We told you that she has Fanconi anemia and that we've got her medical records as proof. Please, just take a look. These will tell you that she has officially been diagnosed, that it causes bruising. We are not child abusers, never have and never will be. Save it Mrs. Hingleson, 
I've dealt with cases like this before, parents physically abusing their children and making up some medical condition as a cover-up, for all I know those records could have been forged. Now, I'm afraid I have no choice but to remove Molly from your care until further notice. Now you listen here, you are not taking Molly anywhere, me and my wife have done nothing wrong, you can't take our daughter away from us. I will not allow it. Mr. Hingleson, don't make this any more serious than it already is. This is complete bullshit. We've done nothing wrong, you'll be hearing from our lawyer. Do what you want. Okay, come along Molly, time to go. Time to take you away from these evil child abusers. Mommy, Daddy, help me. I can't believe this is happening. Our daughter needs medical attention and some nasty social worker had to take her away from us. Who the hell would even accuse us of child abuse anyway? I don't know but I'm going to find out and when I do, I will make sure they won't get away with this. I'll teach them a thing or two for shit stirring. And then, we are going to get a lawyer and fight to get our little girl back before it's too late. What do you mean, too late? Well, if this Bridget Baker woman doesn't believe that Molly has Fanconi anemia then there is the chance that she may not take her to hospital for medical treatment. And if she doesn't receive her treatment or get the bone marrow transplant whilst in the care system, then we could lose her for good. And I don't mean to the care system. Oh God. Kimberly, if we don't get our daughter back soon, then it's possible that she may die.